Okay. Hello. How are you? Very good. Um, today we talk with uh, Gorge Muresan, mm, former uh, Washington Bullets and uh, New Jersey Nets uh, Center. And uh, re regarding center, because today I saw on the Twitter that um, 2K uh, give you a double position. So one was center and the second power forward. And I was really be surprised about this. How about you? It's part of the life. <laughs> but you know, when I saw uh, Denver Nuggets uh, starting uh, lineup uh, from the yesterday or two days before a uh, game, and uh, Nikola Jokic was uh, the point guard or even point center, um, you know, everything could happen in the in the modern basketball. Uh, Jokic is uh, it's uh, extremely talented uh, talented player. It's. Uh, Unbelievable ball handling, but another things right now it's into, it's a, the best shape I ever him I ever seen play. Mm -hmm. So you will be doing very well, I hope. Yes, and uh, I would like to start from uh, from the beginnings. Uh, how did you start your journey with with the basketball? Do you remember that time? I guess that yes. I started in Romania. I played uh, the the junior level in Romania when I was I started when I was in, uh, 15 years old. Uh, I was uh, very very untalented in that time, uh -huh. and I was not athletic at all. So I have to work myself harder than to catch up with my teammates. Mm -hmm. Uh, I guess I start because I was tall. If will, I will, I will never play basketball if I will be not, if I I was not tall. So the reason I start is because I was tall. Mm -hmm. And your first steps were in Romania, uh, Romania basketball league. Uh, you played in uh, Universitatea Cluj Napoca and Cluj, in... yeah, University of Cluj Napoca. Yes. Yes, <laughs> that pronunciation is better. That definitely. <laughs> And in uh, 1992, you won uh, the national championship uh, with which uh, front court players uh, you've got, you competed as equal. And uh, were there good uh, centers in the Romanian uh, basketball league at the time? Uh, I remember just only one, me, so I don't remember anybody else. <laughs> <laughs> and um, and after uh, after this three successful uh, season, you you went to the France uh, Basketball League. You play yes. in um, Pau uh, Pau Ortes. Ortes, uh, yes. Ortes, and won a French uh, League Cup. And was it a huge difference between those two leagues? Uh, in Romania, in that time, was only Romanian player play in that time in Romania was not anybody outside of Romania playing. In France, they have a lot of Serbian, a lot of Americans, a lot of, uh, a lot of players from the islands. Uh, so in France, the, the, the league was much stronger because each team have uh, at least two Americans. Mm -hmm. And maybe they have another uh, one or two Americans. They uh, they was uh, French, like French players. Mm -hmm. Sorry, uh, sorry. And uh, so, and, and France, the, the the league was much stronger because they have the opportunity to sign two Americans or mm -hmm. American or Serbian or uh, two. Two players from outside of the, con the, the, the country of France, and they have the opportunity to sign players, to have players who they have a French passport. Mm -hmm. in that time. And those um, American players were with uh, NBA history, or they were just for after NCAA? Man, uh, some of them, some of them, some of them. Mm -hmm. uh, they have, uh, they have, uh, like, uh, we have the, one of my teammates was Tony Farmer. Mm -hmm. He played for Golden State after he played in France. So they have, uh, they, they have a mixed players. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, do you remember uh, some uh, players on your position who you've got some really tough uh, competition? Uh, you know what? Each team have have some players. Who, I don't remember to have an easy game. Each team have some players. They uh, they they give me problems. I give them problems. So uh, uh, I, know, I remember when we play in the final against Limoges. Mm -hmm. uh, Limoges was uh, extremely well coached, and they just win the champion of Europe in that in that year. They have an extremely nice team, mm -hmm. all around team. Mm -hmm. And in the final, we struggle with them, and we we lose the final against them. Mm -hmm. And uh, did you expect it to be selected by any NBA team? Do you've got maybe some rumors about this? You know what? I uh, I was working very hard, and I got better and better and better. And uh, I know a year before I was in France, I was in Edmonton, in Canada, when I played with the Romanian national team. Uh, and in that time, I remember there was some uh, NBA scouts there, and they was look at me. And uh, I know when I was in France. Mm -hmm. Uh, some of the scouts they talk, and I was invited to go to the the NBA rock camp too. Mm -hmm. So uh, my agent all the time, they, he he came me posted was everything what's happened in, uh, in that time. I was uh, great to have a great agent, Kenny Grant and Bill Swift in that time. Mm -hmm. So uh, I was I was lucky. Mm -hmm. And what was the most difficult during your first rookie season in the NBA? Uh, first, the most difficult was the language. I don't speak the language. That was the most difficult. Mm -hmm. Anything else was, hey, we play basketball. I do what I love. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and how uh, did your teammates help you with this really tough uh, beginning, uh, being in America and also in the NBA? Do they, uh, do they threatenly, uh not no, look, like we usually rookie? Camp, when we start the training camp, we was maybe almost 30 players. Uh -huh. And for these 30 players, they keep two, uh, 13 players on the team. Mm -hmm. So it's, everybody fight for his place. Okay. So there wasn't a place for friendship. <laughs> hey, look, you don't make team with friends. You make team with good players who fight and uh, play hard and work hard. Mm -hmm. this, how, this kind of team you want to have. Mm -hmm. so, so you like... My, I come in here not to make friends. I come in here to play basketball and to become a good basketball player. Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh, well, when we started training camp, I don't know, we was 20 some players there. And uh, every day they keep cutting, keep cutting. Maybe we was almost 30 players. And mm -hmm. every day they was keep cutting until uh, we get uh, 14, 13 players on the team. Mm -hmm. And uh, you left 17 uh, on your, uh, under your back, so you, you find a place uh, uh, in the team, in the Bullets, and uh, the coach at the be your beginnings was with Anslet. Uh, did, did he help you somehow with his uh, knowledge because he was a uh, center and he was legend in the NBA? So, uh, so uh, coach, uh, coach Wes Alt, uh, Ansel, a great guy, good coach. God bless his uh, heart because he just passed away a couple, uh, couple uh, weeks ago. And extre uh, extremely nice man, personality, extremely nice personality. He was the head coach of the team mm -hmm. in that time. So his problem was his team. I was working more with uh, assistant coaches mm -hmm. and by myself. Mm -hmm. So uh, when you get an MBA, if you work hard, the coaches help to get better. Mm -hmm. But uh, his problem was the team, to put the team together. Mm -hmm. So that he was his main focus. Mm -hmm. So the problem was the chemistry of the team. 
Yeah, he was uh, he was uh, he was focused to put the team together to 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 take care of the team. He helped me a little bit. I don't say that one. He don't. But he he don't work with me that much individual. Mm-hmm. He work was the team more. But the assistant coach they they work with me individual a lot. Mm-hmm. Coach Jeff was there uh, every day in the practice, uh, early in the practice, and uh, I was all the time early in the practice, and we do some stuff to get me better and stronger. And mm-hmm. after that, all my, my second years, I can see so much improve from the first year. My second years, I, then my third years, I start to go better and better and better. But mm-hmm. it's all about uh, uh, coaches that give me a good advice and just keep working and never give it up. Mm-hmm. Yes, I think that what, what is really important in the NBA, it's, uh, it's more not talent, but really hard work. And uh, you also got in the team really, really talented uh, young front court with uh, Juan Howard and Chris Weber as well. How do you remember them as, as a teammates and also uh, players? They, uh, they, uh, they was hard work at both of them. Uh, Chris Weber, extremely talented. Ron Strickland, we have on the team at that time. He was mm-hmm. extremely talented. Extremely talented. He was, in my opinion, one of the best point guards in the league at that time. Underrated. And, uh, sure. and uh, Juwan Howard, extremely hard worker. He was, uh, he was there all the time, first and last. First in the practice and last, uh, they left the practice. So uh, I, I love play uh, was Chris in the team. He was a great, uh, great passer, great, great player. So uh, uh, Juwan, Chris, Howard, these players all the time I trust them. Mm-hmm. And when you play was player in the team, was two was the teammates. When you trust them, that make the team much better. We have a great chemistry. We was a young team at that time, so we have a, we have a good chemistry together. Mm-hmm. It and was fun. It was, uh, it was a very fun team to play with. Mm-hmm. In 1995-96 season, uh, you won most improved award. Was it the best season in your whole career? I have no idea. Maybe. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. And I tell you, I don't really care about that one. I care. Uh, I think uh, my best season was when we go in the playoff, 97, 96, mm-hmm. 97, when we go to the playoff. And I guess that, is my, that was my best season. Mm-hmm. And that is the season I have uh, the most fun when we go into, into playoff. Mm-hmm. And... Uh... Did you? How do you remember uh, your competition uh, and some some games against uh, Sean Bradley? Because you were both selected in the same draft, uh, two tallest centers in the league. How it was play against him? Man, it was not easy to play against Sean Bradley. Sean Bradley was a very smart player. He know to position himself very well in defense and offense too. And uh, it was not easy. I don't, I don't, I cannot say one game in NBA I play was easy. I cannot say that one. Even against Sean Bradley, it was not easy. Mm-hmm. He was, uh, he was a smart player. He knew to position himself very well. He knew to close very well. And it was not easy to shut around uh, around him and over him either. Mm-hmm. He was a uh, very, very hard player to play against. Mm-hmm. You mentioned that the, each game in the NBA is really hard, and uh, you also played in the, let's call it, the golden era of the center. No, no, wait, wait. I don't say it's very hard. I say it's not easy. Okay, not easy. <laughs> it's not easy. No, it's not. I don't, I don't remember to be one easy, because look, even when I play against a player coming from the bench, uh-huh. it's not easy, because that player coming to beat you up, he don't come in to let you do whatever you want to. Mm-hmm. He, he just coming to show it to his coaches and to his teammates he deserves to play and he coming just to beat you up to, to run on the court so uh, was not hard anything is hard for me is what I don't like okay. playing the game I love it I love to play the competition 
Mm -hmm. And to, what about playing against Shaq? Because, you know, Shaq O'Neal is my favorite uh, center and player. Yeah, so you know, Shaq was, uh, was different. Shaq was heavy, uh, extremely uh -huh. uh, strong, extremely explosive mm -hmm. and power. So uh, he know very well to go around to find a way to score extremely well. He was so smart to do that one. He knows he's very athletic and he can do whatever kind of he want to. After I play with Shaq, I have like a two days. I have to put ice on my uh, eyeballs and my uh, shoulders, on my knee. Uh -huh. It was, was pretty heavy to push me around. Mm -hmm. Shaq was a great player. I, I love to compete against Shaq. That was my... Uh, my uh, if I can play every day against Shaq, I will be love to play every day against Shaq. Mm -hmm. And because who else? It was a great competition. Mm-hmm. And I love to I love to compete. So that, that was my favorite when I play against uh, big players. Mm -hmm. So who also is on your list with the players who you really like to play? There's a Shaq. Are they? Hakim Alashwan, Patrick Ewing, Alonzo Mourning, Rick Smith from uh, Indiana. Mm -hmm. These players, they uh, they uh, they give me a problem, but I love to compete against them because they was a good player. Mm -hmm. uh, David Robinson. Mm -hmm. And uh, injuries. Uh, I guess that uh, you didn't play in 97, 98 season. Uh, I and... play, uh, yes, I don't play in 97, 98 and uh -huh. 90 because I was injured. I have uh, I have a back, uh, some back problems. I have uh, nerves squeezing the back in eight spot. Mm -hmm. And how difficult is for for the player who love play basketball? How is it difficult to be injured and didn't play in the, the whole season? That was uh, that was hard hard time for me. That was the most hardest time in my life. Mm -hmm. But I go over. I was married and uh, my kids coming in '98, uh, and and I have to I have to go over. But I go. And uh, every morning I was wake up and I go to work harder and harder. Even after I have the surgery, my back surgery, when the doctor told me I never would be playing NBA anymore. Every mm -hmm. morning I wake up and I go and I play for six months. I work so hard and I got a contract with New Jersey Nets. Mm -hmm. Yes. Two more and, seasons here. And after that I got another contract to play one more year in France. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, Hey, look, injuries is part of the game. Mm -hmm. When you play professional sports, you don't know how long your life is going to be there in the court. Mm -hmm. That is the, the most difficult. And maybe I will never own the team because if you can have the best team, if your best players get injured, you don't want to go anywhere. Mm -hmm. So injuries, the injuries I have, I have a squeezed nerve in the back in eight spot. And my was so bad, the nerve was so bad squeezed because I play I play in one year it was the squeezed nerve in the back. And the nerve got destroyed. Mm -hmm. So uh, the nerve got destroyed maybe 80%. Mm -hmm. So the injury was very bad. Mm -hmm. But this is life. Mm -hmm. And uh, do you feel the, those, the effect of those injuries in your life after basketball? Did your body still, uh, still show you that uh, you played in the NBA really extremely hard and or oh, now yes. it's better? Yes, uh, I feel them for everything right now. Mm -hmm. But I, 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 uh, I start to stay in good shape. I uh, do a lot of work. I go in the gym. I, I try to go in the gym every day. Mm -hmm. Right now with the coronavirus, I cannot go to the gym and keep my uh, my body in good shape mm -hmm. and try to ignore some of the problems. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know what? I play with, I play injured. Pain don't kill me. So I don't uh, I don't care if I have some pains here and there. Mm -hmm. Just mamba mentality and go straight. <laughs> and George, could you tell us more about your um, 
Giant Basketball Academy. Uh, it was founded in 2004. What is the aim and how the, does it um, uh, operate it? So, uh, right now we are in the hold because the COVID-19. Mm -hmm. So right now we don't do nothing. We don't want uh, the coaches and the kids to come in and get sick. But we will be start after this is going to go away. So uh, in the 2000, 2001, I finished with French, was poor taste, and I come here in the United States. I take off for six months, and I stay with my family in Romania. Mm -hmm. And in 2002, I come back uh, here. And I was in New Jersey at that time, and I say, I have to do something from now on. My basketball is li life is gone. Mm -hmm. I have to do something. I have to go get a job. Mm -hmm. or to create something where I can spend more time with my kids. I have two boys. And I, I say I want to spend more time as possible with my boys. And like this, I create a giant basketball academy. Mm -hmm. And like this, I was every day on the basketball court with my kids, and I give opportunity to another kids to get them better. Mm -hmm. So I moved in Washington, D.C., back in Washington, D.C., and I started to work for Washington Wizards in uh, 2004, and I started in, uh, in North Virginia, Giant Basketball Academy. Mm -hmm. And from since then, I was working for Washington Wizards at the same time, uh, team ambassador. Mm -hmm. So we, in Giant Basketball Academy, we create uh, basketball camps, basketball leagues, uh, basketball uh, clinics, and we run full year. We have uh, uh, three leagues, fall, spring, uh, winter, and spring. And uh, we run summer camp during the summer. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have a lot of kids. Some of the kids right now, they're in college. Some of the kids, they finish the college. And uh, we work just with the beginners. Mm -hmm. We don't want to work with the advanced kids. My mm -hmm. coaches, I have. They're all beginners. Mm -hmm. And do you think that your uh, your children, your boys, got also this uh, love for the basketball that they will try to um, doing in professional? Uh, I have one son. He just finished Georgetown, mm -hmm. the Georgetown University. He finished uh, the major computer science and pre-med. And he just got a job right now in New York. He have a great job. He don't have to play uh, basketball. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I have another son. He just gonna go to Georgetown this year to the business school. Mm -hmm. So I hope when he gonna finish the four and four years, he gonna get a good job. Mm -hmm. Don't have to play basketball. My older son right now is go back to Georgetown for a master degree in computer science. Okay. So basketball in the leisure time, not as yeah. a work. <laughs> and uh, when you look at the current MBA, um, who is in your top three, if there is top three of um, your favorite centers? Right now on MBA, there are not that many centers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so Different the positions. Basketball, Look, basketball has changed a lot. Mm -hmm. So I tell you, it's my favorite player. I can't tell you it's my favorite player, but it's favorite center. Right now, nobody really plays back to the basketball anymore. Mm -hmm. Everybody shoots from outside. Uh, the players right now, in this time, in these days, they are much talented, much athletic, and much better player than when I play. Mm -hmm. uh, right now. Mm -hmm. And so the, the, the basketball, the game of basketball will change a lot right now. Everybody can shoot from outside. Everybody can take the ball to the hoop. Uh, you cannot let anybody open in these days. Even Boba Marjanovic. <laughs> yes, He's got really Marjanovic. smooth three-point shot. <laughs> yeah, he's doing very well. He's doing actually extremely well right there. Mm -hmm. I love him. So... Uh, it's not really the, the teams, they don't use centers anymore. You mm -hmm. don't see right now double on the center anymore. When you see somebody doubled, right, right now, everybody has the shooting machine, and everybody uses the shooting machine, and they get better and better and better. 
and you cannot leave somebody open because you're gonna make it. Mm-hmm. So the te- technology right now, technologies, nutrition, how you work out, and technology to shoot the ball, it's so different right now. Mm-hmm. A lot more opportunities. And there is the, the reason the game of basketball gets a lot better right now. Mm-hmm. If you see NBA, college, or high school games, the players are extremely talented. And athletics too. Yes, there's an evolution of basketball. They've got better opportunities, better trade, uh, yes, plays the way they could practice. Trained. Yes, they are much better trained right now. When I start playing Washington Wizards, we have head coach and two assistants and one trainer. Mm-hmm. And one... Uh, uh, another guy, physician. Okay, right now, they have 10 coaches on the bench. Each team. Right. Or more. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So but these coaches, they, uh, they help the players to improve, to get them better and better and better. Mm-hmm. If you have, uh, the, if, you, if you work hard, if you don't work, nobody's going to get you better. Mm-hmm. And which team will win uh, the NBA championship this year in the bubble? Man, I hope uh, Washington Wizards, because that is mm-hmm. my team. This is my hope. And realistic? I don't know, man. <laughs> uh, Washington Wizards don't have their good team like LA Lakers or Milwaukee. Mm-hmm. But it will so, be interesting. And it will be interesting, and, and it's, I'm very curious because the players, they... they uh, some of them, they don't work uh, for a long time. Uh, the gym was closed for a while. Mm-hmm. And my hope is we don't going to have injured players. That is my hope. Mm-hmm. And I hope everybody stays safe and healthy. If everybody will be healthy, we're going to see a good basketball games, a good final. And I don't care who's winning. Mm-hmm. I care more to see a good final. A good game. This is what I care. Let's hope that there will be fight, that there will be emotions, maybe Lakers, Bucks uh, in the finals. We will see. Maybe Lakers, Wizards. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> You're really optimistic. Either one, either one is good. Well, I hope it's going to be a good final. I don't care. Mm-hmm. This is my hope, to be a good, good final. I want to see a good basketball games. I don't want to see a blowout games. Mm-hmm. So can be surprised. It's NBA. It can be surprised too. Especially in the bubble conditions, that yes. everything could change. That yeah, there, there is. Right now, uh, the Los Angeles Lakers. In my opinion, they have the best team, the best bench. Mm-hmm. So, uh, but you never know. We will see. Let's wait. We, yeah. Let's wait for good emotions. Uh, Georgie, thank you very much for the uh, opportunity to talk with you about uh, 90s when I started my journey with, with the NBA. It was really nice to talk about uh, oh, thank you, man. Shaquille O'Neal as well. So uh, enjoy the day. You know, Shaquille O'Neal was uh, it's a great man. It's a great person. Very hard competitive. He competed very hard. When we play each other, he competed the hardest I ever see somebody compete. So uh, make the game even better when we compete against each other. And I love to compete against him because he was a great, great player. Mm-hmm. That's why he is in the top 10 in the all of time rating. Oh, yes. Yes. He deserved it to be there. He deserved it. He was so smart around the hoop to, to move himself and position himself and score. He was very smart. Mm-hmm. Good. Again, yeah. thank you very much. It my was pleasure, really my pleasure. Pleasure. So have a nice, uh, have a nice e- afternoon, and for for sure, stay healthy. Thank you. You too. Stay safe and healthy. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Okay. Protect yourself. Thanks. Thanks. Take care.